right, so I've managed to uh, feed him with the baby. I've just put him down for his nap. So I'm gonna show you all now how easy it is to uh, batch cook and um, prep foods for the week. Uh, this is all live, so you'll have to bear with me. On some occasions I might go off screen to go to the fridge and get my uh, the bits that I need. So if I'm not on screen, uh, it's just because it's live. So just bear with me. I'll talk you try, try and talk you through everything that I'm doing and um, so you, you can try and keep up with it. Uh, but the main idea is just to show you how easy and quick it is to batch cook one, two or three meals. The recipes will be available on the vlog, so you don't need to try and follow everything that I'm doing because I'll be going at a pace of, uh, of what I normally go at. Uh, so here goes. Um, well, I'll, actually, I'll just tell you what I'm going to be cooking today. I'm going to be cooking um, so tender chicken breasts. Uh, these will keep into the fr in the fridge for interquartins for around four days. So that's four meals you can have there in the fridge. I'm also going to cook uh, one to three bolognese. I like to add a little bit of chilli in. It is optional, but I do enjoy a bit of chilli in mine. So with, with this recipe, you can um, make five meals. You can put them in little Tupperware tubs as I'm going to do, and you can either keep them in the fridge for three days, or you can freeze them. Uh, they're so easy to defrost it microwave, literally two or three minutes, just keep stirring it and then you've got a, an instant meal there. Uh, I'm also going to do one to three burgers. I'm not going to cook these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, prep them all, uh, wrap them in cling film and freeze them. Um, there's going to be four meals there, so you've got four meals, all you do with the burgers is you take them out in the morning and then quickly fry them for your lunch or your dinner. So. Um, in total there you'll have 13 meals which is absolutely you know that if you wanted to you could feed the family with those and obviously they wouldn't last you 13 days that's entirely up to you um, I'm doing mine just for me just to show you that you can do it for you but also you know those little tubs of bolognese can be def defrosted and you can make them for the kids or you can give your kids the chicken salad or you could even make burgers for the kids on some occasions that's what I do as well. So here goes, I'm just gonna go and get go to the fridge. So like I said, if you see me go off camera, it's just because it's it's all video live and I need to go and get obviously ingredients and apparatus that I need. Just be one moment. So I'm not going off camera too much, I think I'll bring a lot of the a lot of the ingredients out onto the side and then say if you're going back and forth. So most of the stuff um, I got is from Asda. What I find as well with the mints, you can get really good offers. I mean, I've got um, three packs of mints, so 750 gram in each pack for £10. So you, you can make nine meals out of that. That's nine meals, you know, for starting off at £10. And then you've got your little, little extra bits, obviously they add up. And, but, you know, mints is a really good cheap option and also you know you can cook it so quick too and batch cook it as i'm going to show you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um start off with my bolognese i'm going to be doing different bits of each um recipe in different stages uh, so it won't all go together in the video but this is obviously to show you that you can batch cook a few different kinds of things all at once but the recipes to help you and guide you through it will be um, will be on the website so I'm just adding some fry light what I'm going to do is I'm going to start browning my mints off then I'm going to chop all the uh, allowed, allowed vegetables that I'm going to use I'm going to chop those up um, for each each recipe that I'm doing and then I can just cook them in each time. So I've got 750 gram of mince there. There's 750 gram here so I'm just going to estimate it. You know it's about a quarter so you can't, you're not going to go far wrong if you just, um... so I'm going to leave that cooking. That's going to stay on the side ready for my uh, burgers. I'm just going to wash my hands because I need to go into the drawer for 
um, a, a, a spoon. Do one second. It's really important to wash your hands when touching meats and things like that, you know, to stop germs. is cooking I'm now going to chop all the vegetables ready to cook so what I will do is I'll chop them and I'll put them in, in, in different bowls so then I'm just pouring them into the you know the recipes that require them I'm just going to go and get some bowls This is going to be for the, um, the chicken meal and we're going to roast the courgettes. So I'm just going to slice these up now. I just, you know, I get a lot of people say, oh, is there a lot of cooking involved? There might be, um, you know, a bit of cooking involved, but the cooking is so simple and can be so quick. I mean, we do provide um, different recipe videos anyway you know quick and easy recipe videos which are you know everything from what you're putting in at each stage is filmed um, this one obviously is live the others aren't live uh, I think we've got about 27 recipe videos at the moment and I will be doing some more later in the year but at the moment I'm trying to concentrate on the uh, the vlog um, so we've got courgettes there I'm just gonna give the mince a stir I mean, like I say on um, on my um, vlog website, this vlog what I'm doing isn't just. You don't necessarily have had to just had a baby. The, you, you can do. You can follow everything that I'm doing if you you know you're a mum, not a new mum, just a mum, because you and you lead a bit your busy lifestyle with with regards to work and things like that. You can you can follow exactly what I'm doing. It will help with that as well. So the book. The vlog isn't just for, um, for people who've just had a baby. So, hopefully the baby will sleep while I get through this. It normally does while I do it once a week. It's pretty good. Sleeping around seven hours. So, I'm just going to chuck, because I'm going to be roasting this, I've left these a bit bigger. So, I'm going to roast these with the courgettes. I'll put them in the same bowl to save on space because I haven't got much space here. Using the section of my kitchen that can fit on all the cameras so, so I'm going to roast those um, this is next so I'm just going to do the peppers for the um, now I've got watery eyes more black eyes I'm going to keep these pretty big because I'm going to be roasted, so let me just give this a quick stir. Forgot about when I decided to do a live video about uh, onions. So we'll leave these pretty big, I've took middle out, um, to be roasted. So I'm going to roast nicely. What I'm going to do is, so I can have a bit more room on my work surface, I'm going to um, slice all these up and put these in the oven to roast. I'm just going to go off screen and, and just get, oh, I think it's in here actually, and get a roasting kit. So I can start with So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just chucking some courgettes, peppers, onions. because obviously I don't want them to burn. I'm just going to spray them with some um, fry light. And I've put them in the oven for around 
Okay, so I'm on for around, I'd say about 20 minutes. So while they're roasting, I'll check on my mince again. I mean, the good thing about mints is, you know, you get, get some lean mints, it's unlimited. If you can't um, get lean mints, just drain all the fat. Um, frozen mince, mince is fine, but I think you can get fresh min, mints just as cheap. So I always tend to go for fresh. And also, I I'm just going to put this in the bin. I tend, tend to buy it when it's on offer, so you can get in a lot of supermarkets now, you know, they do three for what, three for ten pounds, some do even more, so, you know, mince is really a good, um, cheap meal, and like I said, it's unlimited, so you can make all sorts of meals with it. One of my other favourites is um, one, two, three, mitza, which is your mince, which is um, layered at the bottom. Um, that's a really quick and easy meal, and all the family love that, they really do. Um, my kids love all the one, two, three meals, really. What I tend to do is I, I cook us all the same, but then like for my partner and the kids, I'd add extra foods that, that I don't eat on the plan. So I'll stick to, you know, the recipe and then I might give them some extra side options with their dinners. So you can make the plan work for the whole family. I mean, I'm showing you batch cooking now because I want to show that, you know, if, it, if you're going to work or you know, they're just yourself to feed uh, in, in the daytime or the children at school that, that you've got, you know, the options here available and I just want to show you how quick and easy it is to make 12 meals on the one, two, three plan. So, so my mince is cooking nicely. I'm going to... Oh, what I might do with this, and if there's a lot of, I mean, this is less than 12%. Sometimes you do end up with a little bit of fat floating in the bottom, so I might uh, drain that off anyway um, in the sink. I feel like I'm a ready steady cook, live TV. <laughs> um, so, done as peppers. So next up is, get rid of some of my work area. Next up we have onions again. God, I'll be crying again. So, can't wait to, um, oh that's not a good onion, they oh, fresh as well. Trust that to happen to me, I'll never for this. I've got some more onions in the fridge anyway, because that one will look not very healthy. So, yeah, my next um, vlogs, I can't wait to start sharing some exercise with you. Um, I've got to speak to my trainer and get some um, post baby exercises, but I'm also going to do, because obviously I've trained before, so the post baby exercises will be for you know, any mums that have just had a baby, because I've exercised before, I'm also going to get some simple basic exercises which, for beginners, which anyone can do. I can do them because I exercised quite a bit through my pregnancy, so I can do them, you know, to show you guys on film, but obviously I wouldn't advise any new mums to do, to do um, the beginners ones, just the postnatal ones. So what I'm going to do with this onion, because I'm in, this is nearly done. I've got my eyes water now. Right, the mint is not quite cooked, so I'm going to put these in a bowl of milk. Oh, God. I'll have uh, all my mascara running down my face now. Right. Oh, it would have been great if I did this live on Facebook and you all could have asked me questions. So I've got lots more to talk about. I'm just thinking of things that, you know, things I can include and talk to you about while I'm uh, prepping everything. So now I'll we'll move on to, oh, my eyes are really bad. 
mushroom, so I'm just going to chop these really fine. Uh, all this, you know, your, your peppers and your onions and your mushrooms, what I'm doing now, are all for the bolognese. Oh, God, I'm going to have to get a tissue, I think. I'm going to chop these up, and hopefully my mince will be done. I can drain that off. And then I will move on to prepping my burgers. I'm not going to cook the burgers because what I like to do with my burgers is if I, I, I make them, well, make, I prepare them, wrap them in cling film, and then I, if it depends whether I'm planning on having them, if I'm planning on having them pretty soon, I'm just going to have to get a tissue because I know I do apologise. I don't think I planned for um, the uh, onion eye uh, when I decided to do a live video, <laughs> but it's me, I'm real, I wanted to show you something real and in real life and here I am. So, mushrooms, done. Don't have to tackle these onions for burgers right now while my eyes are still watering and get it over and done So I'm just going to move these to the side because I've finished with these now. Um, and I've just got to my mint, only one second. So let's have a look at this mint. Right, my mint is done, so I'm just going to get the lid and drain that off because it looks like we've got too much you know a lot of fat in the bottom so just bear with me while I just go to the sink I think it's always good to, to drain mint off if it's got a lot of fat you know because we're trying to lose fat not not add any more so if you do have even if it's 12% like this it's still the fat so if you do find there's quite a lot of uh, fat in the pan then you can drain it off so that mince is done. So I'm going to add my onions, my peppers, and shrooms. And I'm going to leave that now to cook while I make the burgers. So that's cooking nicely. So I'm going to Back on the onions again. Got a red onion this time. So, burgers are one of my kids' favourites. Better than McDonald's, they say. So I'm happy with that. I enjoy them, so they enjoy them. It makes life a lot easier. Not cooking all different meals for the children. I mean, sometimes they don't have all one, two, three meals because every. You know, most children like the odd chicken nugget and things like that and fish fingers. So they will have those meals sometimes, but that's when these, these meals come in handy. And my husband, he likes to get in the kitchen, as you've probably seen if you're in my members area, some of the meals that I make. So he really enjoys it. But my, you know, individual one, two or three meals, I tend to batch cook myself every week. And then... Hubby will do a couple of lovely one, two, three friendly evening meals. I think it would be a good idea if you do one of these videos. I think it would be really good. So, I'm going to chop this uh, onion really fine. This is going to go with my burgers. And I'm going to make the burgers while my bolognese is getting ready. So hopefully this video won't be too long. I don't want to make my vlogs too long. I want them to be, you know, short and sweet, to the point, you know, helping anybody what needs needs help or or guidance. I've always said in my groups to my members, prepping your meals is the key. If you can ideally in an in an ideal world, get your book, 
read through it. I would plan at least, it depends when you go shopping. If you go shopping every week like most people, I would definitely do a week's plan at a time before you go shopping. Um, if you go shopping more often than that, um, then you can get you know, you can get away with just planning your first three days. But definitely planning your food. It also helps you to stick to it because you've got something to refer to, I think. And you know, oh, I'm having that next. And I think it gives you, you know, that bit of incentive to stick to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, move on to burgers. So I'm just going to grab a bowl to make these with. So back to mince again. I'll try not to touch it this time. So that little bit of excess from the bolognese mince can go in there. And then we've got another 750 gram here. So there's a thousand gram of mince here and that'll make me four meals. So, just give this a stir. Just give that a stir. Okay, so that I'll be ready to add my um, bits to it shortly. So I've got your mints. I've already chopped this onion. So I'll add the onion. And then I'm going to just knead it a little bit, get the onion in. Ideally what I should have done before I started kneading it is added the egg, because now I'm going to have to wash my hands again and go off screen, which I didn't really want to do. But, right, so, I've got the onion in I'm just going to wash my hands again because obviously I've touched meat. like a burger shaper but I just tend to just do it with my hands and it all depends how big you actually like them. I like them fairly big. Um, should, like I said, you get four meals out of it. So we'll just see if these end up big enough. I might have to, sometimes when I do I end up having to um, separate them because I've made them too thick. So we'll see how it goes live. Uh, that's only two meals, and they might be too thick. Have a look. I mean, a lot of people say, how, do you, how am I going to know I've had the 250 gram, but you know, you can sort of tell which shape and size. I mean, I know now that some of these are a little bit too big, so I will just take a little bit off each one. So it's, you know, so I know there's, I'm getting the 250 gram. So, there's, that one's done. I mean, they're not the perfect burger shape. I think I've got a burger shaper in there, but not everybody does. So I'm trying to do a video what, you know, 
everybody can sort of relate to and you know use. So that is nearly eight burgers, four meals. I'm gonna to have to wash my hands again because I need to get the cling film out, but then I'm gonna to to touch the burgers again. But so I'm just gonna um, get me wash my hands again for two seconds and then I'll get the cling film and get these ready for the fridge or freezer. I'm not planning on having my burgers in the next few days, so um tea towel. So um I'm gonna freeze my burgers today. But you can fridge or freeze. And this is cooking nice. Now they're ready to add the sauce and right, so what clean film? Oh, I'll tell you what's even easier. I find it easier because clean film it's a nightmare to um broken sometimes. Just get a burger, place it in the bag, one done. I mean, you can use cling film. I've used cling film all set, or I use bags. Sometimes when I try and cook, cook cling film, it all ends up wrapping around itself. So, nightmare. So I don't want that to happen live on camera. Uh, so we'll get all these um, put in the freezer. And once they're in the freezer, we can um, Add the sauces, what we've got to the uh, holiday mints, and then we'll move on to the uh, so juicy um, chicken, which is going to be four meals. Might give my work surface a quick wipe down as well. So I'm just going to put these in the freezer. I'll be back in one second. So that's one meal completely finished. This one isn't far off. Right, so, holidays, we're having tuna chopped tomatoes, um, 100 gram of passata, we'll have some chili in it, we'll have some lazy garlic, and I'll just pop to the fridge and get a sauce. So we've got an uh, Italian, um, it's from Morrison's, or you can have the Giovanni brand, tomato and basil sauce. We can have 200 gram of this and get into it. Yeah. Nails all over it. So. So we've got 350, so just over our, so we'll mix that in first. Then we'll add a tin of chopped tomatoes. It's a really nice sauce. Give it a mix, and then I'm going to get a teaspoon and a teaspoon of lazy garlic. Ooh. And a teaspoon, I like, I mean, you don't have to add any chilli, but I think it gives it some flavour, and I really like it. So. So I'm just going to measure the um, passata out. 
it just adds to the sauce. I mean, there's a nice sauce in there already with your tomatoes and the sauce, but there's, you know, quite a lot of mints in there, so we want plenty of flavour. So I'm just going to add, add this in. It's not all over me. So I'll just measure that out. That's all sorted. After I've added this sauce, I'm going to move on to my chicken while this simmers, but I'm just going to clean, you know, where I've been cooking. So I've just got a bit more room. I'm going to leave that to simmer now. So I'll just get rid of some of this rubbish out of my way. The pots I will do later. I won't fill the pot with pots. So, All in all, I should have all the batch cooking should take you. So for 13 meals, I'd say around 45 minute, minutes, which is enough time for your little one to have had a, a little nap. Um, or, you know, I'm sure everybody, whether you've got a little one or not, you can spare 45 minutes of your time to cook you know, some meals. Some recipes, even if you're not on a diet, it can take you 45 minutes just to cook it first place. So, you know, it's not a, a massive amount of time to make all these meals. So, I'm going to get rid of everything that I don't need now. And then we'll move on to chicken. I've not burnt anything yet and everything's uh, cooking well. We are two meals down, well two meals, two recipes down because the bolognese is done it just needs simmering and then putting into your Tupperware tins. So all is good. Now we're going to do the so juicy. Just get on the chopping board now. Right, that frying pan's out. Pan fry these. Uh, I, I was going to do the so juicy the cook bags, but you've got to wait 40 minutes to cook these are a lot quicker, around about 10 minutes. So we've got um, so tender um, marinades. They are basically paper, seasoning papers. You just put your chick chicken in them, put them in the pan, and just turn them over a few times and You've got a, a really quick and easy meal there. You know, you are allowed the so juicy ranges. So, you know, you don't have to cook recipes like this. You can simply get some chicken, some meat, some fish or any kind of poultry. Chuck it in a cook bag, put it in the oven for 40 minutes. You've got a meal there What's took no preparation whatsoever, really. Um, while I'm talking about this what recipe, I just need to check these are roasting okay. I'm just going to turn them over a little bit and fry them. Fry them. Spray them with fry light. So, so just going to give them a quick spray. Turn it off a bit. Alright, so by the time our chicken's done, it should be done. So, just get my chicken out in a minute. Just spray, I just always spray my pans with either fry light, olive oil, or Fry light, sunflower. So I've been to the Asda, as I said. Sometimes I go to Morrison, Morrison's. I know our Aldi's really cheap. Uh, it's not as close to my house. Uh, I've got four chicken breasts. Work out at £1.12 per chicken breast, which is absolutely nothing really. So again, another cheap meal option especially if you can get the offers on the chicken breast which is you know readily available quite cheap now Decent, um, so you can um basically we get your tender strips 
which are just basically like that. You get your chicken breast, place it on, and I just I do press on it like that, just so the whole chicken is covered, and then place it in the pan. And do it with the next one. Just pop it over. Probably didn't need two pans for this really. Probably get all four of them here, but I'll just use oh, I'll get all four of them in bigger. No, I'll just use two pans to be easier. So the next one. I mean, you can pick up the so juicy um, cook bags and these tenders for like a pound and they do four meals, so another cheap option. Just going to get a, another one. What I'm going to do in a minute is because these take around 15, you know, 10 minutes, I don't want the video to go on and on and on, it's already been pretty, you know, long and because obviously these are just sat cooking not actually going to be doing anything i'm going to switch the video off i'm just going to go and check on the baby and then i'll be back when uh, these chicken breasts are all ready um it just saves you just you know waiting uh, with the video for me to, you know for these to cook so i'm just going to pause and we're back in about around 15 minutes to take so uh while filming we're off i've got to fly my chicken just to finish them off um i'm going to Turn them off the heat now, they're all um, ready, so I'll just leave them um, to cool now and then we'll see to them next. I'm just going to, um, just going to get a tea time, I'm just going to check on my roasted vegetables. They're all roasted nicely, so I'll leave them in while I just the bolognese so I've got four tubs four meals it does make five meals but I'm having one of the um, one of them today so I'll put that into a bowl so, what I do is I just scoop them out into the bowl the more or less the same size and then I just make sure that they're all level you know the more all, more, almost gonna get the right amount in each one. So, full. Another one full. So they're almost at the top with my little one. I'll make sure that's right and bring it to the top so it's in slightly smaller. And then I've got my dinner for today. So, what I'll do is I'll put them, I'll move these out of this area now because I'm going to, because uh, I need to cool and I need to move on to do my uh, chicken dishes. So what I do with these is I um, leave them, leave them on the side just while they cool off. Um, so they'll leave on the side to cool off. I'll have that once I finish filming for Marina. Uh, and then what I do with these is, it depends on when I'm, I'm going to have them. They can stay in the fridge for around three days. Uh, if you're not going to eat them within that time frame, I would advise freezing them. Uh, and then when you want to get one, you simply pop it in microwave, two to three minutes, give it a stir, and then um, pop it back in microwave until it's you know really steaming and heated thoroughly. Uh, quick and easy um, meal to, to get. So now I'm going to do uh, my chicken. So it's all nice and cooked. So like I said, I did butterfly it just to speed up the process for filming uh, while I was just off camera. So this makes four meals. There was a thousand um, gram of chicken. So what I'll do is I'll just slice this best I can, just to pop on top of this roasted veg. You know, if, if this is 
you know, this is the minimum uh, you, you eat on the plate. If you're still hungry, then uh, by all means, you have more. You can have two breasts if you want. You could also um, have, have an egg to top it up, you know, if you don't fancy too much chicken. So, just get all these sliced up and then we'll uh, prep these. Ready for the fridge. What I do with the chicken ones is I tend to um, put that, just keep them in the fridge. I don't freeze them or anything. They just basically go into the fridge, um, and then I eat them. They'll stay in the fridge for about four days. So as long as you eat them within four days, you can take these to work, keep them in the fridge or a cool bag. So it's a great um, works meal. Um, if you find that some of the chicken breasts like I have now, some of them are a little bit bigger than others, I would try and, you know, equal them out the best, best that you can. Oh, that's pretty equal. So I'll just move that there and get my, um, my Tupperware tubs for this, this one. I mean, they're so cheap to buy. I mean, these cost me 75p. Um, And the, for all this prepping and preparing, it's not expensive to, to do. So I'm just going to get my roasted vegetables out now. And I'm going to put the roasted vegetables equally in the tub and then my chicken on top. Roasted peppers and courgettes. Um, what you could do is um, you can serve this with um, a side salad or sweet potatoes uh, if you wanted to, to heat some of them. You could even cook some sweet potatoes in this roast and and have have them on, on the days that you're allowed sweet potato, uh, which is a really good idea just for a bit of variety. So we'll get all these dished up, which was an equal amount in each. Just push it to the side a little bit. So I think it's taken around 45 minutes. Maybe it's a little bit longer, but I think um, I don't think it really matters. I'm just gonna have got clean hands. I'm just gonna make sure there's plenty in each one to have with it. Spread it nicely. And then what I'll do is I'll just get my chicken and put that in, in with the meal. So, and there we have so we've got, I don't know if you can see it on camera, hopefully, I'll just put this that way. There we have four, um, four meals. All four meals can be kept in the fridge once they're cooled, or well, you could eat one right away, or just keep it in the fridge for four days. You've got four days meals there. Like I said, with your bolognese, you've got five meals. Well, I'm having one today, so I'll keep those in the fridge or freezer, depending on when I'm going to eat, but they can be stored up to three days. Then you've got your burgers. Because I wasn't having any burgers in the next couple of days, I've decided to freeze them. I'll have them probably later on on the weekend sort of thing, so that's why they've been frozen straight away. But you can keep the burgers in uh, the fridge for about two to three days, dependent on the life, um, you know, when your sell-by date is on your mints. Obviously, if your mints run out today, you want to be freezing it today. Um, all these meals, I think they cost me around £20. So I've got four, 13 meals there for £20. So it just shows you, this video I've done just shows you how cheap you can do the plan. Um, you can prep meals for work, you can prep meals around the baby, you can prep meals around the children. If I was to um, cook this for the children, I'd just give them probably half a pot because it is quite a lot uh, with their rice or the pasta. Um, so, you know, all meals are one, two, three friendly. Most of them, 
I would say majority of them are really quick. We do have recipe videos as well, which show you the quickness of them, which show you the recipe through. This one I just didn't wanted to do live to show you that I'm a mum. I've just had a baby. I can, you know, you can cook and prep meals. You just need an hour, 45 minutes to an hour out of your time, just to, you know, while baby's napping, or even if you're a, a nurse or you work shifts or you work long hours, you can always find 45 minutes of your time to prep some meals. Even if you did it, if you did it twice a week, in theory, you'd have up to 26 meals, which then is not time consuming when you're coming to eating them uh, or you're going out to work. So uh, I hope this helps and gives you some, some more inspiration. Uh, thank you. And I think it went quite well to say it were live. I look forward to my next blog.